Taco Tuesday, you know and love that phrase. A New Jersey man wants to keep the last Taco Tuesday trademark, the term, the slogan, but fast food giant Taco Bell wants that phrase to be free. The Washington Post reporting the trademark is owned by a man named Gregory Gregory, who runs the restaurant, you guessed it, Gregory's Restaurant and Bar. And he says the spot has served tacos on Tuesday since 1979. Then three years after that, the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office officially recognized it. So Taco Bell, again, now filing to cancel the trademark nationwide. Just New Jersey, by the way. And just Gregory, Gregory, Gregory who's got the rights to it. He joins us alongside his attorney, Scott Makem. Welcome to you both, and thanks so much for coming on today. Gregory, if I could start with you, why is it so important that you keep this trademark? Well, first of all, it's our trademark. We've done all the requirements, and we're just about to start our 45th year of Taco Tuesday on this Tuesday coming up. Well, that's huge news, by the way. That's that's amazing. And and can we just say we love Taco Tuesdays? Let's just be <laughs> honest here. One of the favorite days of the week. I try to have tacos every Tuesday. I would have them every day, by the way. Sure. Um, but this is a, a serious uh, issue that, that you're in. That's obviously why you have Mr. Makem there with you. And I want to go to you if I can, sir. Uh, Taco Bell saying, quote, we remain committed to freeing Taco Tuesday throughout the country, including in New Jersey. Uh, Mr. Makem, how do you respond to this uh, in a legal fashion? The legal fashion is that they are trying to cancel a term that is so successful that they're trying to claim it as ubiquitous and common language. Uh, there are so many uh, generic names out there that are still trademarked. Uh, Kleenex, AstroTurf, you name it, uh, Crock-Pot. So their ability to, to to climb that hill is being stifled by the lawsuit that they filed because we are challenging their cancellation notice uh, by virtue of the fact that we still own it. And it is uh, we've protected and policed the words. Um, and it's not a generic term other than the fact that it needs protection in the state of New Jersey. And all of the uh, Taco Bells in New Jersey are owned by franchisees, not by corporate. You know, we actually were so interested in this case that we took it up in our hypothetical courtroom here on National Report last week. One of the attorneys arguing on behalf of Taco Bell offered this explanation for the, the lawsuit. Take a watch. I think that it's really hard to monitor a phrase like Taco Tuesday. I mean, these are two very commonly used words. I think people say it in their own homes when they're talking about what they're making for dinner. I just think it's impossible to say that these two words connected together come with some proprietary right. Uh, I have to say this Gregory uh, individual sounds like a phenomenal human being. I think the case, unfortunately, is quite weak. Bit of a nice compliment for you there, Greg. But how do you respond to that argument? Well, the way I respond to it is we don't care if you use it in your house. We don't care if you invite people over for Taco Tuesday at your house. I just we just don't think another restaurant should be able to say it's Taco Tuesday and they can generate money income off of it. We need it for our business. We've been doing it for 45 years and we haven't had a problem until Taco Bell decided to Ring the bell. Gregory, uh, oddball question for you. Is that your real name, Gregory Gregory? <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, it is my real name. <laughs> and I would go by my middle name, but it's my middle name it's is Gregory? Elmer. 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 <laughs> he thinks it's Gregory Gregory Gregory, but it's really just Gregory Gregory. Triple G. Yeah, uh, Gregory or Mr. Gregory, whichever you'd like to call him. A big celebration, by the way, this, this Tuesday. Is that right? This Tuesday starts Taco Tuesday, and I do want to let everybody know that since Taco Bell's given free tacos out in every state of the union except New Jersey on, ta on the 12th of September, when you come to Gregory's on the 12th of September for Taco Tuesday, when you buy your basket of two tacos, you will get one free taco that day. Well, you, that's an offer you can't refuse. Hello Who's to, that guy? to everyone. Who's, Who's that, that Gregory? That Gregory? <laughs> That's, that's another Gregory. There's Gregory's yeah, of all course, over Of course here. it is. That's Walt I can't, Gregory. I can't. <laughs> of course. Hey, Scott, final question to you. How far do you expect this case to actually go? Uh, we're going to challenge the trademark office, actually, of breaking news here, to protect trademarks. If you are so successful with a trademark that it becomes like rum and Coke, Coke is still protected. Um, they need to protect the trademarks. Otherwise, what is the purpose of the trademark office? Yeah.
what purpose does it have? Yeah, excellent point there. We're going to continue to follow that. And we're going to continue to enjoy uh, Taco Tuesday. Uh, that is Scott Makem representing Gregory. Gregory fighting to keep that trademark with him and his restaurant. Thank you so much. And nice to meet both of you and, uh, and the random gentleman that came in earlier. <laughs> we appreciate it. All right. Take care, guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah. All right. Taco Tuesday. Who doesn't love it? But it's 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 fascinating because it, it's it's fun to talk about. But at the same time, there there is a there is a, a serious issue that Gregory Gregory is facing that you wouldn't think. And that, and again, in terms of trademarks and and um, how ironclad they are, seemingly we're going to find out. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to say too, for 45 years, this is a successful business that has operated in New Jersey, mm -hmm. right? It, we you hear about all these fast food chains and they're so convenient and yeah. well where's the charm and the personality of of having a taco served up by Gregory Gregory you don't get that everywhere Gre and that is worth fighting for. Gregory Elmer Gregory by the That's way right. we, we've learned a lot about this so we're going to be staying on this trademark case here taco Tuesday in New Jersey will it remain with Gregory Gregory